Because of their scary reputation, humans were hunting sharks all over the world. Eugenie knew that sharks weren't stupid or mean. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Eugenie fished through her mind and devised a brilliant experiment. Could she train a shark the way a person trains a dog? Were sharks much smarter than anyone knew? They were. Eugenie was the first scientist in the world to train sharks and even learned they could remember their training for at least two months after. Sharks were not mindless killers. Sharks were beautiful. Sharks were smart. They deserved to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugenie's dream was now a dream come true. Shark Bites Dangerous Monsters? No way! There are over 400 species of sharks, and of these, only about a dozen are known to be dangerous to humans, and encounters are extremely rare. The truth is, despite their fearsome reputations, humans are much more dangerous to sharks than they are to us. Every year, humans kill more than 100 million sharks. It's important to treat sharks with respect, but there is no need to fear them. Sleep tight. Eugenie once swam in a cave full of peaceful resting sharks suspended in the water. But were they really sleeping? Sharks breathe by using their gills to extract oxygen from water. Eugenie noticed that the caves with sleeping sharks had more oxygen than usual. She believed that this extra oxygen would make it easier for motionless sharks to breathe, so they didn't need to swim to pass water over their gills. Before confirming this discovery, most believed that sharks had to keep moving to stay alive. No toothbrush here. Sharks have impressive teeth arranged in rows along their gums. These teeth are constantly being grown and move forward in their mouths like a conveyor belt just in the water. And the secret to their speed is in their skin. Shark skin is made up of dermal denticles, which are more like teeth than fish scales. Some swimsuit designers have even created swimsuits that mimic shark skin to help Olympians swim faster in the water. Big, small, and everything in between. There is an incredible variety of sharks. The smallest in the world is the dwarf lantern shark at under seven inches long. The world's largest, the whale shark, measures over 40 feet. Once, Eugenie was swimming with these giants in the Sea of Cortez. One swam very close to her so close that she was able to grab hold of it. She let it carry her for a long time until she finally let go when she realized she was far away from her boat. Mermaid Purses Some sharks give birth to live young. Others, like the dogfish, produce unique egg sacs that sustain their young. These leathery sacs are known as mermaid's purses, and they provide the young shark embryo with a safe place to grow. Sometimes, it's possible to find a mermaid's purse on the shore if you look carefully. Life at the Top 
Sharks are apex predators. This means they're at the very top of the food chain in the ocean. Because of this, they play an important role in keeping food webs and prey populations in balance. Without sharks, ocean ecosystems would collapse. Sharks are old, very old. The first sharks appeared over 400 million years ago, and their ancestors are still around today. They have survived five major extinction events, including one 65 million years ago that destroyed the dinosaurs. Eugenie Clark, Timeline, May 4th, 1922. Eugenie is born in New York. Her mother, 68 to 1969. Eugenie becomes a professor of zoology at the University of Maryland. Three. Egypt's first national park, the Ras Mohammed National Park, is established, partly due to Eugenie's work in the area. Earth species, no matter how different they are from us, is needed now more than ever. There were many incredible tidbits about Eugenie's life and over 175 scientific journals and articles. She's been featured in over 50 television programs. Nicknamed the Shark Lady, Eugenie passed away at age 92 on February 25th, 2015, but her legacy lives on. The Moat Marine Laboratory, for which Eugenie acted as chair for scientific research, still exists. It's a place where young scientists can explore the oceans and discover Eugenie's sharks, and just maybe find some of their own. For more information about Eugenie and her work, you can visit moat.org online or read any of her numerous books, like science fiction or a dream. It isn't fiction, but it is a dream. A dream come true. I think she would be honored to inspire new dreams in young, curious minds today. <laughs>